Mayor Bowser, uh, I know you've been asked this before, defund the police was a reaction that we heard a lot starting last year uh, to police violence. Uh, very few big city mayors support that, but it was an expression of you know, impatience and rage about watching citizens uh, being victimized. How do we change police besides defunding them if, if we need to? Well, sure. And so let me be clear. Uh, I, I was not a supporter of a, a defund movement uh, in the city and certainly wasn't supportive of any um, police investments uh, being reduced in our city, especially when we already saw kind of ticks up of crime and some things that we were concerned about. Nonetheless, uh, that was uh, what happened uh, with, with our budget. And we experienced a year where we weren't able to do any hiring. Um, and that's not good. So I think that we had a net loss with attrition of about 300 officers. Um, good for us that this year I moved an emergency uh, funding measure through the council, uh, which is going to allow us to hire uh, 200 officers this year. Um, that still won't make up for what we lost, but it will get us back on the right track uh, of where we need to be. The truth is that law enforcement is not ever going to be the only answer um, to a public safety issue like we're experiencing right now. So we've also uh, invested $59 million, largely supported by the American Rescue Plan, uh, that will allow us to try some non-law enforcement uh, interventions, uh, including uh, hiring more than 50 new and 50 additional violence interrupters that will work for trusted community partners and be out in neighborhoods to try to prevent crime before it happens. We're investing in a pilot um, that will provide uh, housing vouchers uh, for people who are involved in our public safety programs. And we think that if they have safe and stable housing and maybe out of the environment uh, where they've been involved in crime, that we'll also see uh, a, a better, better outcomes. Uh, and we're also always looking at ways uh, to evolve our police department. Listen, MPD has been involved in uh, evolution um, since the 90s, where we've professionalized our force, we've trained our officers, we've equipped. I think we were probably among the first big cities to equip our officers um, with body-worn camera um, that, that hold everybody involved accountable. And we have an independent police complaints board. Uh, so you won't hear any of us, and especially the police chief, um, saying that we aren't always looking for ways to improve um, our department. The officers can't do their work without the trust of the community. The community cannot have safety without the officers. So we recognize that every day uh, we invest in that police and community trust.